Satisfied oh, customer, oh. Mr. West Dickens. Oh, hello, John. Yeah, poor fellow can't get enough. <laughs> As I see. Get rid of him, would you? Why? Uh, well, because we're old friends. No. Uh, uh, because uh, we'll team up and fight the forces of darkness together. No. Uh, because I've got something you want. Uh, trust me, you cynical bastard. <laughs> Thank you, dear boy. Oh, thank you. Oh. Oh, well. oh, did you get the stuff? Of course. Oh, excellent. <laughs> oh, wait just a minute. You should have said, you should have said, yeah. Yes, it is. Ah, here you go. Now, these should help. If I've got my mathematics correct, they'll blow the buggers apart. <laughs> and if you've got your sums wrong? Oh, ye of little faith. Now, listen, John. You're going to need some more serious weaponry. I've got a plan. <laughs> but you need to pick up some old parts at Riley's charge. Another shopping trip. Yeah, well. Excuse me if my efforts at salvation are interrupting your busy social calendar, John. I'm only trying to help because... Because we're, we're old friends. I know. <laughs> you better not be wasting my time. Uh, me? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Perish the thought. <laughs> <laughs> Abigail, I failed you.
Get on, but hurry. I'll give you a quickie later. You're welcome. Now get inside somewhere and board up the door. Dickens. Uh, Nigel, where are you, old man? You better not have gotten killed. Under here. <laughs> Get out here. Are you alone? No, I brought the great mass hordes of the undead with me. Of course I'm alone. Well, it's not the undead I'm worried about, dear boy. I kind of like them. It's the normal people I can't stand. What's happened? No, don't be like that. I haven't done anything, or stolen anything, or even lied that much. What then? A bunch of people just chased me out of town. They blame me for everything that's happened. I tell you, John Marston, I've been selling health tonics for years, from here to Timbuktu, and never once has there been a, a demonic bloodlust or the undead rising up. It's preposterous. Okay. No. They want to hang me. Me. An honest salesman. Can you believe that? Snake oil merchant who cried wolf. Well, yeah, something like that. Um, well, I'm headed south. I'm, I'm headed down to Mexico. I hear things are much better down there. Not to mention the, uh, the climate and the nice locals, but uh, also the merciful lack of cannibalistic morons with infectious eye diseases. <laughs> oh. Did you uh, get the bits and bobs I requested? Sure. Ah, ha, ha. Excellent. Uh, uh, just a moment. <laughs> okay. No, I don't. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, there. 
I see. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ah! Here you go. <laughs> I risked my life for this? A blunderbuss? Is this a joke? What is this, 1850? Oh, ye of such little faith. You've been hanging around cattle and killers too long. You've got the compassion of a mass murderer and the intellect of a cow patty. I'll stick your faith in this gun where the sun don't shine. This is the weapon of choice for demonic horde killers everywhere, from Romania to Edinburgh and all the other places the undead roam. You can put pretty much anything into it and blow a bunch of the buggers away in one go. Makes your rifle look like a pea shooter. You better not be lying to me. Uh, would I lie to you, John? <laughs> uh, to others, I admit the occasional uh, <clears throat> sin of omission. But to you, never, dear boy. Now, I... Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Ooh, ooh, ah. yeah. Now, I am headed down to Mexico. Is there any chance that uh, I will see you there? We shall see. Well, if you're interested, I should be at Solomon's Folly in a few days trying to figure out a way to get in. I hear the border is not as open as it used to be. <clears throat> Ta-ta! <laughs>